Steven Spielberg's Bridges of Spy opens with a shot of a man looking in a mirror as he paints a nearly complete self portrait. The man is shot from behind. We are not really seeing him. We are looking at two reflections. One in a glass and one in watercolors. The truth is in the mirror. This duality of perception versus reality and eventually the concept of those three triangles Similar but aren't quite. You may surface the picture of spies. A daring, steady, mannered true story that is at once remarkably genuine and deeply cinematic at the same time. This is the best film of the year. In this fictional rendering of how a Brooklyn insurance lawyer ended up negotiating high stakes prisoner exchange at the height of the Cold War, Spielberg and writer Matt Charm and Joel and Ethan Cohen toss details at you, shake them all around and piece them back together in the third act, when the form of the puzzle starts to take shape. Only then can you begin to fully appreciate just how lean and purposeful every moment is. Suddenly that seemingly random conversation about clients and incidents from the first act is an outlier after all. It means everything. As a first time viewing experience, it's like not realizing you have That's all to say that Bridge of Spies, which waxes poetic and occasionally cynical on patriotism, honor, and duty, echoes in your mind long after the credits roll and begs for a second year. On the page, Bridge of Spies is the story of every man James B. Donovan, played by Tom Hanks, a lawyer and a family man who takes on the thankless task of representing Soviet agent Rudolf Abel in a trial only to be then called on to negotiate his exchange for the detail. Soldier on behalf of the CIA. But that's just scratching the surface of this very thoughtful and meditation on doing the right thing, embodied in the burgeoning friendship between Abel and Dark. Donovan fights for Abel despite the scorn of the public and indifference of the legal system and danger to his family. He goes to Berlin to negotiate the exchange of Abel for a detail. You two pilot Francis Gary Powers. Donovan decides again the wishes of the US to try to tag the release of Perhaps most unexpected, though, is how Rylan sneaks up on you and proves himself to be heart, soul, and set out of the fold. The Shakespearean actor is actually the first person to meet in an elegant, nearly dialogue free opening shown the FBI is real inside their studio. Gold for era fears want to paint him at the face of the enemy, but Rylan makes Abel sympathetic and even docile. He plays him as a highly intelligent foot soldier who's seen enough to know that even possible execution is enough to get work that over. It's impossible not to like it. Donovan wants to get them both out. It's in the unexpected details and choices that Spielberg continues to defy our skeptical movie expectations. He has a point of view, he has a plan, and he remains in the class of his own. In his ability to both execute those ambitions and entertain in the process. We rate this movie four and a half stars. Tell us what you think about it and don't forget to subscribe.